29-year-old Shail Vani lives in Mumbai city in a high-rise apartment. He's a financial consultant who works from home. His day starts with brewing his coffee with his coffee machine, after which he uses his microwave to heat the milk. Then it's time to make a breakfast smoothie using the blender. As someone who's environmentally conscious, Shell decided to switch to a renewable energy source like solar power. He started out by putting up a couple of solar panels on his window, but he wasn't able to connect them to his main power grid. He then tried exploring the option of installing rooftop solar panels. But as a resident of a housing society in Mumbai, he realized that that was not a feasible option. Living in a city like Mumbai, right, you really understand that the rooftop is like a communal space. It's a shared space. It's not um, like the other cities where you have your own house, your own rooftop that you can, you know, use or control. Um, so getting access to the rooftop to set up a solar panel, who owns that electricity? Because that electricity certainly can't be claimed by only me, um, given that it's the society that's kind of having the shared space and of course living on a rented premises right also puts you at a weaker uh, footing like shelvani for those living in mumbai's high rise apartments accessing clean energy through solar power is still a big challenge given the space crunch india has set an ambitious target of generating 500 gigawatts of clean energy by 2030 most of which is expected to be achieved through solar power close to 40 gigawatts of that target was supposed to be generated through rooftop solar installations by 2023. So far, only 8 gigawatts of that target has been achieved. Martin Scherfler is a renewable energy expert who works in the field of power reforms. He explains why India is lagging behind on its clean energy goals. If you look at the central government, the national policies provide fairly clear guidelines to promote you know, the generation, the sale, the consumption of green energy. Various multiple mechanisms, including open access, or also rooftop solar. However, if you look at the reality on the state level, we find restrictive and increasingly restrictive regulations when it comes to RE, which then results in a higher landed cost of clean energy, which makes renewable energy increasingly unattractive for a large segment of the consumers. So there is a gap between national government ambitions and state level capacity to implement and deliver on these ambitions. The average cost of installing a 2 kilowatt rooftop solar system is anywhere between 80,000 to 2 lakh rupees. This makes it a very expensive proposition for individual consumers. Another challenge is the access to low-cost financing for rooftop solar. Uh, the Reserve Bank of India has identified the rooftop solar sector as a priority sector lending sector. Uh, but what we see is uh, there's a lack of standardization of rooftop solar systems. So everything is custom engineered and designed. So most of the credit lines that are currently available by banks are for the commercial and the industrial consumers and are done on a very traditional financing mode, which is on balance sheet financing. Similar for domestic consumers, if lending for rooftop solar is available, it's provided under home loans against collaterals. Independent power producing companies like Peri Urja are looking to fill that gap. They specialize in installing low cost rooftop solar projects for residential communities. So far, they've set up solar panels for 100 residential apartment complexes like these in cities like Mumbai, Pune and Nashik. So with us, the tariff is fixed for 15 years. That is one benefit. Second, it is immediately at, at, at day zero, it is 50% of your cost. And three, it is free uh, you know, when, to, when you set it up. At the end of 15 years, the plant is transferred to the consumer free of cost. However, even as private entities like Peri Uja try to incentivize rooftop solar panels, the buy-in from urban consumers continues to be slow and tentative. In the parliament, this question was, the specific question was asked uh, to the government, how much uh, offtake has happened for residential rooftop? The total offtake that has happened, it's, it's less than uh, 2 gigawatt. I feel that, you know, A, the trust definitely needs to be solved for. 
the starting step for solving the trust is definitely you know more installation social proof which it, which that creates a bangalore based technology startup by the name of sunday grids has now designed a unique solution that promises to make solar energy more accessible and affordable they are calling it digital solar is it possible for us to basically decouple the both the problems of a having to go so, wanting to go solar on one side and having a physical installation does it necessarily have to happen on your own rooftops right can it be just like you know back in the day we used to carry around our thumb drives with storage and now everything is on the cloud in a similar fashion can we put solar on the cloud digital solar is run on the back of rooftop solar power projects for instance sunday grids bought this particular residential solar project from peri urja located in mumbai it then converted the energy produced through these panels into digital assets that are called solar credits when you come to our platform is that you are reserving digital solar capacity and depending upon how much capacity you reserve it's a proportional amount of solar credits get generated on a monthly basis because of economics of scale we kicked in because we are building larger systems and then we are basically you can come and reserve smaller portions on it say hey let me reserve 2 kilowatts of solar we actually segregate and basically allocate 2 kilowatts of this 50 kilowatt project for your requirements so whatever power gets generated from this right we trade the power to a lo local uh, partner of ours in this case it is this building we trade this power at a predefined price point so that is around 5.5 rupees per unit that power essentially whatever gets traded that credits then come to a wall so every time you come and create an account with us on our platform we also create a wallet like a digital wallet in for that particular account and onto that wallet we essentially add those credits from the system one of their first customers was shelwani he found digital solar as a more viable and seamless way to access solar energy with sunday grids i've started at about 50% of my bill so i've picked up panels worth 500 rupees per month right and till now the experience has been great basically the credits keep getting accrued to your account as they are generated and whenever you have to pay your bill you can just go onto their uh, portal or their dashboard and use your credits to pay your bill and if anything's left right you can use your traditional sources to pay the rest of the bill right and what that also allows me to do is uh the ability to decide how much of my bill to offset gives me a good starting point right uh, as an entry way into this ecosystem since its launch in november 2021 sunday grids has purchased 64 kilowatts of solar capacity through multiple residential rooftop installations across mumbai and bangalore what's also unique is that the energy produced through these panels can be reserved from anywhere in india here is where essentially our technology comes into play right now in india we have a pretty amazing fintech stack of sorts right you have your upi fast tag and more importantly and slightly less unknown is bharat bill pay there's 70 plus electricity providers across india and what bharat bill pay does is it integrates everyone together and creates a modality you know, create creates an interface where you can essentially fetch your bill see what is your power bill is it 2000 rupees 3000 rupees you can fetch your bill and you can pay for it now on top of the system what we have done at sandy grids is that we are like all right let's actually add the benefits of solar let's add solar credits on top of it digital solar is also working out to be cheaper than installing panels as it eliminates the maintenance and operational cost of installing physical panels additionally you pay less for solar energy which in turn helps you bring down the cost of your power consumption sunday grids has built a symbiotic collaboration with private solar producers like peri urja and tata power who are their on ground infrastructure partners every industry has competition right Uh, climate industry has collaboration you delight one subscriber you delight one uh, person with this 
is going to definitely go and you know convert four more people into this these, these are these may not be early adopters but they are going to with their personal somebody's personal experience are going to be believers a group of believers that you're creating uh, with digital solar and you know uh, i i felt that this was one one really great uh, uh, gap that he was filling in the entire ecosystem in many ways Digital solar is a tech-enabled community solar initiative that can popularize rooftop solar projects with the urban demographic. By 2070, India has committed to becoming a zero carbon emission country. This goal is also dependent on how many people like Shell can commit to minimizing their own carbon footprint. Climate change is the battle of our generation the millennials, right? We are the last generation that can do something meaningful about it. Start the transition towards a cleaner energy source. Put your money where your heart, your mind. We all think about the climate. We all think about the environment. We all think kya kar sakte hai. The problem is that there aren't too many things an individual can do. This is one of them. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.